Guys, hey, how you doing? I want to update you on my level three certification. Uh, going to fly April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I believe next year of 2022. I've been working on this thing for several months now. And just want to give you a video overview of what, what, what I've been doing. So uh, if we start back here, I'll show you. This has uh, got a 75 millimeter adapter in it, which uh, I will not be using. We're going to be using a 98 millimeter M1939 motor for our certification flight. And uh, these are one of the greatest motor mount, mount, uh, mount holders that prevents the motor from coming out. And this screws right on the top here. You won't lose the motor. I want you to take note also of these two bolts right here. There are all threads that run from these rings through the centering rings of the rocket motor all the way to the bulkhead to help keep this together. These fins are made from quarter inch G10 fiberglass and they were cut to size. They actually go through the body and glue onto the main motor tube to give them extra strength. And you can see I already did the paint and the detail, decals on this one. So we're gonna come forward a little bit here. This is our main booster section. Here's where the all threads come through. And this will lock on here to keep these pieces together. This comes off temporarily so I can transport the rocket. So as you can see here, I have threads built in to double rings here and glued in place. Screws go into these holes and we'll hold this together permanently even through flight. The goal is to be able to take it apart so I can get it to the field. This shock cord, so to speak, will follow go, go completely through here once this is screwed in. And this is our upper tube. Our upper tube is going to house our electronics bay. There's uh, two altimeters in here. Uh, each one will shoot two charges. One is the main, one is the backup. The drogue charge will fire this way and separate out this way. And the drogue will come out this top of this tube here. The first one will fire at Apogee. The second one fires at plus one second. The goal is to have a backup just in case one fails. Once that's in there, this upper tube will go into this end here. And my main parachute charges will fire this way, one at 1,000 feet and a backup at 800 feet. 17, 18 foot main chute will come out and blow off the nose cone and Hopefully we'll get a nice recovery. Expected flight is about 5,400 feet uh, with a five foot drogue at Apogee and an 18 foot chute on main deployment. And that's what I have so far. I'll do a follow up video once this is completely finished uh, prior to flight. And then we got a lot of uh, flight videos and onboard cameras that we're gonna build into this rocket for you guys. Okay guys, I did forget a couple things I wanted to mention. The actual AMRAM missile, this is an AMRAM um, 120C, I believe, and I try to make it as realistic as possible. The actual AMRAM is seven inches in diameter, 144 inches long. Um, because tube size doesn't come in seven inches, it comes in seven and a half. So this is a seven and a half inch diameter AMRAM by 155 inches when I'm completed. So that is, uh, it's slightly bigger than full scale AMRAM. Uh, I also wanted to mention one thing that I did forget about is there's an extra tube wrap here. This is serving two purposes. One, when this rocket comes apart, there's a lot of pressure on these tubes. So to prevent cracking or splitting, I put an extra tube here to help strengthen this upper piece so that this does not shred my tube here or what they call rip. The other thing this does is allows these fins to have some kind of slot to fit into to give them extra strength so these don't break off because we all know if we're going for a certification flight we don't want anything to break or if there's no certification it's very important to me i've been flying rockets since 1996 i got my certification in 1997 with this baby up here certification level two so this certification level three will be my top notch and uh 
looking forward for this thing to work perfect. So that's what I got again. Thanks for your time. Bye.